I'm very excited. We're starting. So welcome to Content Bounty. Uh, th the first website we talked about was the influencer website uh, where you're going to create a website about yourself. But I find that a lot of people that I've kind of worked with in the past, they have a hard time talking about themselves. So that leaves us into the niche website. And so I'm going to be doing a roofing supply company, but you may be like cooking or uh, like... I don't know, green energy or solar, or maybe you like farts. I don't know. There's just so many ways you can get in there and we'll go over it, how you can find your own. Personally, like I said, I'm going to be doing a, a niche website that is focused on roofing. Also like uh, tiles and different types of roofing and the gutters of roofs and all of that because really I have no problem calling a roofing company and being like, Hey, I have this website. It's ranking for this keyword. I have, you know, a hundred clicks a day asking for a phone number that could be you, but it's going to me. And I, I, I'm not a roofing company. Would you take these, these clients? And they'll say yes, because you, they're the jobs are like 5,000 to 20,000 jobs. Uh, Thing. And I, or I can sell them per lead. So there's just so many different options, but that might not be for you. Maybe that's, maybe you just don't want to look in your area. Maybe you're a scheduled and set it and forget it. So you take a, you create your post on your website. It, uh, like just like this, uh, just like this, it automatically posts to Pinterest and then people go from Pinterest to your website to review your blog or your review, uh, about the product. And then they buy it from Amazon and you get a commission. So all sorts of cool ways you can do this and we'll be getting over how you can do this. So let's get started. By the end of this training, you are going to have a niche picked that you're interested in promoting. If that's cooking, if that's fitness, if that's uh, menswear. I'll show you how to do the research on the keywords and we'll, we'll go even deeper, but pick a category or topic that you're interested in. And I'm going to show you how to find the keywords and the traffic and the volume. And if it's something you're actually interested in. So how can we find what's popping on the Pinterest? Well, we can go over to the Pinterest, go down to the trends section. So Pinterest trends, and you can see this is the trends in the United States matching my pins or top trends this month, which seems to be a lot of fall, fall, Halloween, nails, outfits. Um, so men's clothes, women's clothes, men's nail, well, women's nails, um, all the growing trends. You can see like top monthly trends, top yearly trends, seasonal. You can pick the end date, the interests. Uh, all sorts of different stuff depending on what it is. So do some research here. I mean, if you see like this is all nails. So it seems like uh, nails seems to be very, uh, here's some uh, dress to impress. Uh, we have some television dress. So uh, different outfits, so men's outfits. They have all sorts of growing trends here. You can actually go to, if I go to the top here, you can see the region. So if it's like Canada, that's going to be a different one than say the United States. They also have some good uh, things here for, if you go to analytic, uh, I think it's audience insights and you can see what is actually trending in uh, based off of your audience and then all Pinterest users. So you can see art is very popular. So if you have like an art studio or cooking, uh, art, uh, entertainment. So like, it's not all nails, entertainment, home decor. So like seasonal decor, Halloween decorations, um, cooking, uh, porch decorations. You could have bathroom redesigns. So you have designs, you have DIY crafts. So all sorts of different things that you could create content on. And this is photography, illustrations, body art, paintings. Uh, you can see the range here. So it gives you a lot of information to, uh, the, for free to find out what you're actually interested in. And so this is Pinterest engaged audience. So uh, it seems like 90%, 5% of my audience actually engages with art entertainment 88. So these are just massive amounts of data that you could create your niche from. So you would just figure out like, if you like vehicles, 
I haven't uh, with my audience. I have 41% of my audience likes it and they have an affinity of two, per, two times, which is insane because that's like most affinity is like 1.1 1 .1 to 1.3. So I get, I have a high chance of them engaging uh, if it's on finance or if it's vehicles. So it's just something, men's fashion really, really high too, 1.7. So all sorts of things you can see in men's style, men's out word appearance. So you could do like a whole thing on shoes and uh, men's fashion, coats, and uh, you could do seasonal clothing. So there's so many different ways and we'll show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it for roofing, but you can do it for uh, men's shoes. You can do it for uh, different car parts. Like there's so many things on uh, Amazon that you could sell and show AI generated images through Pinterest. So I'm very excited. Let's go over how I'm doing my actual uh, keyword research. But maybe you don't want to rely on Pinterest. I'm gonna do Pinterest, but I'm gonna show you other ways to, to figure out your keyword and the topics we wanted to talk about with our blog on how we can just copy that topic and paste it into a tool to create beautiful blogs for us. So for instance, you can use Google Trends uh, say you're using mine, Google Roofing, and we can see over time, how is this going? I mean, it's trending up over in the last day. We can see the last 90 days. It's obviously up and down, up and down, which is kind of weird, actually, um, why it would do that. But I don't know. Nebraska, these are the roofing top inquiries. Roofing tank with rapid, I don't know what that means, array roofing, shamrock roofing. So these are obviously companies and these are topics. So it's very localized. That's why I am doing more uh, local uh, SEO. <laughs> uh, I am focusing on the local market, but that doesn't mean you guys have to, you can do so many more, but I'm gonna give you some examples. Uh, so like for instance, I can type in all sorts of keywords into YouTube. So I can do roofing supply, and these are keywords I can write about. Roofing supply delivery, uh, beacon roofing supply, ABC roofing supply, preferred roofing supply, uh, stone wall roofing supply. So these are all uh, things that I could essentially create content on. But if we look at actually Google Ads Planner, this is a free tool also, you can see that Roofing Supply has 22,000 uh, monthly searches, and these are all of the types of searches people are searching for, so metal roofing uh, supplies. So that might be a keyword that I'm gonna be start searching for. So metal roofing supply, metal roofing uh, material prices, roofing supply companies near me. So I might look at all of these monthly searches and start figuring out the types of things that I'm going to write about. So we have roofing supply near me. So I'll definitely write this uh, article because, you know, it's a uh, medium article. Doesn't cost too much to rank for. Um, I can look at metal roofing supplies. I can look at supplies for roofing. So you can get an idea of what the keywords. So uh, metal roofs, um, wood roofs, so different types of roofs, right? Uh, I can, so types of roofing material. Uh, so I'm gonna put all these keywords and write these down and start putting together a, a, a list. And I'm gonna show you what else you could do. So uh, there is tile roof. So now we have metal, we have tile, um, shingles. So these are all things I'm writing down. Um, yours might be different. Yours might be recipes. It might be a list of recipes. Uh, it might be uh, fashion. So men's fashion, you have shoes, you have uh, coats, you have uh, t-shirts, you have summer wear, you have winter wear, you have uh, uh, professional clothes versus vacation. So, so many different things um, in research you could do. Another option to do keyword research is ask the public. For instance, this is free again, just create a, a free login. And you can see I did roofing supply. It has a cost per click of $5, which is, I guess, pretty inexpensive. $22,000, 22,000 
volume a month. And we just have quite a bit of uh, what is a beacon roofing. These are questions. So you can see they ask what are and the di different types of questions and then reposition. So they have all the different roofing supplies near me open today, near my location, near me now, open near me, five miles away. And then there's all sorts of other things you can see all the different keywords you can use. Uh, they have related. So a great tool to use roofing supply, uh, supply store. So like these are keywords you want to think of how you can integrate into your own business. So obviously near me, Dallas, Texas, I'm going to start using those types of keywords, but definitely something to, uh, pick your niche. And once you have your niche, we're going to be moving on to the next thing. If you are doing it as an influencer, then it might be who you are as an influencer. Uh, I'm going to be importing my, if you already have a website, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import a video in the next one. But right now uh, I'm just going to do roofing supply, but maybe if you were just doing influencer uh, as your second one, maybe you already have like a niche, then you could, or you could do uh, who you are, uh, what type of products you like. So pick a niche that you're interested in, because if you're not interested in, you'll do like what 95% of the people do is they'll pick something that they think is just going to be a moneymaker instead of something that they're interested in. Because after a couple weeks, they get bored, they run out of things to talk about or uh, do research about because they're not actually interested in the topic and then they never go anywhere with it. So if you're interested in fitness, like you could talk about it for hours and hours a day, or if you're interested in business, or if you're interested in cooking recipes, or fashion, or whatever you're interested in that you love talking about, pick that and go deep on it. Because if you can't do that, then you know, you're know you not going to be able to do this for six months, a year, two years, because you're setting up two years of content to set and forget so that you can now go and create a second one and a third one and have these just be little assets that make you money, make you money. And so building off of like the Amazon, uh, train. So, uh, the gravy train that Amazon is. So definitely, uh, pick your niche and because we're going to go on actually digging deep on building this out, getting our domain, our website, everything set up in the next section. So let's do it.